Donald Faison charmed us for years on the TV show Scrubs. He's now starring in TV Land's hit series, The Exes. He joins me now to talk about season three and beyond. Donald, great to have you here. Thank you for having me. The Exes, up to, you know, more episodes this past season than before. That must be a good feeling. It is a great, it's a great feeling, actually. Uh, you know, the network believes in us, and they believe that we can get to 100, which is the magic number, you know, for syndication. And that's great. That's what I want. I want to make it there. And the rest of the cast wants to make it there, and it's great to know that the network's behind us. With this cast, it's an excellent cast. I mean, so many shows don't make it. Do you think that plays a lot into the success of the show? Yeah, I mean, it's good writing, too. But, uh, yeah, the cast, definitely. When you put uh, Wayne Knight, Kristen Johnson, myself, Kelly Stables, uh, David Allen Bache, and Leah Remini together, you got to get something. Whether it's good or bad, you know, it's, it's up to the audience to decide. But I feel like when you have vets working together, you can put something good together. Sure. I mean, you know, we're about to see the season finale for yes. season three. Yes. What can we expect? Uh, Phil gets propositioned by uh, Leah Remini's character, Nikki. And, you know, uh, laughter ensues. So meet me at my place tomorrow night. No flowers, no champagne. Just show up and we'll get down to business. I will be there. Okay. A little sweet talk wouldn't kill you, though. <laughs> well, you play a player and... I do uh, play a player. You know, I... I play a player. But you're not like that in real life. I don't think I'm like that in real life. I think, you know, if I did do well with the ladies, it was because I was on television or, you know, because I was in Clueless or on Scrubs, you know. That helps. Totally helps. Totally helps. Having played the player now, what kind of advice would you give some a single dude that's trying to make it out, you know? I have, I listen, I play a player. I have zero advice. <laughs> I'm telling you, my game was, hi, I'm the black guy from Scrubs. <laughs> What's good? That would work. That works. Yeah, because I am the black guy from Scrubs. <laughs> but if you're not the black guy from Scrubs, guess what? You know. <laughs> you get it. You recently remarried. Uh, I did. Casey Cobb. That's How my wife. How's married life going for you? It's wonderful. We've been married for a year now. Uh, we have a lovely baby boy named Rocco. And it's, you know, it's a joy. He sleeps through the night, which gives us, gives us time to be with each other. You mentioned Scrubs. We all love you for on Scrubs. Your mm. BFF with Zach Braff in real life. He's the godfather of your son, right? He is the godfather of Rocco, yes. If it goes down and, you know, Casey and I pass before he's an adult, Zach has the responsibility to raise our child. He will be like uh, Martha Kent and uh, John, Jonathan Kent to our baby Superman. Um, do you still keep in touch with a lot of other people from that show? From most projects, I, there's at least one person that I'm that I'm still in connection with, like uh, with with Clueless. I still talk to Breck and Meyer, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes Elisa Donovan and Stacey Dash. Uh, so yeah, I try to keep I try to remain friends, but it's difficult. You know, you go on to other projects, and you don't you know it's like the person's in your life every day for you know four or five years or in Scrubs case nine years and then you guys don't see each other anymore because you're off doing other things trying to make it happen in other ways. Yeah trying to you know make that living right yeah. in uh, Hollywood. Clueless was such a cult favorite I mean people love that movie I mean did you ever expect when you were making it that it was going to have those legs? To be honest with you I thought it was just another teen movie you know for teens to watch I had no idea that it would it, you know, it would hold up. To this day, people watch, you know, there are kids that watch the movie now and it works for them and they get the message and they learn things. And then, you know, uh, all, all the adults, you know, if you're 40 years old right now, most likely Clueless was your jam when it came out. Yeah, yeah, and now it's bringing it to new generations. Yeah, I every, mean, everybody watches it. And we're still seeing you. The show, uh, The Exes, got picked up for a fourth season. Which is great. That's great to hear. Uh, what, what's in store for your character? I have no idea. No idea. You never find out, right? Do you have any say in the script or anything like I that? I have no idea. I don't find out what's going on until the table read. Huh. That's usually when, you know, oh, wow, Phil's doing that this week. That's usually when that, when, yeah. It's so great to have you here today. Thanks for coming by, Donald. Thank you for having me. All right, Donald Faison. You can catch him on TV Land's The X's. For this and all things entertainment, stay at cbsnews.com.